I was sitting at home jamming away on the drums and I came up with this kind of pattern. I liked the open hi-hat being on beats two and three and I liked the snare drum being on three and. And I was very influenced by a drummer in the 80s called Steve Jansen. He played in a band called Japan. And he would make very simple drum parts. He would just put snare drums in kind of places you'd never thought of. This is a Steve Jansen rhythm that really fascinated me. I mean, you don't really put a snare on one and two, you know, when you've grown up listening to funk and jazz. It just seems so crazy to me. You know, you normally put a snare on two and four or around two and four, and Steve would do these amazing kind of like, I just couldn't work out what he'd been listening to. And so this rhythm that I started for Bonnie the Cat, I guess I was thinking, I was looking for a simple solution for, to make an unusual beat. My, my favorite thing is making a rhythmic design for a song that just fits the song perfectly. That's my favorite thing that I can do. So I expanded this beat I just showed you and played it over two bars. Now, it's got a funny turn round. It sounds like it's in an odd time, but it's all in 4-4. Four four. So, whilst we were having a writing session, I said to the other guys in Porcupine Tree, listen, I've got this beat, and I've got an idea for a bass line that goes with the beat. It doesn't play with the drums, it plays in between the drums. It's a kind of jigsaw pattern. So the bass goes one, onk, onk, bom, bom, and none of what I'm doing is on that beat. So, it, probably the easiest thing is if I play this song for you now, you can hear what the other guys in Porcupine Tree came up with for this beat. So in the case of this song, the beat came first. <laughs> 